Hey, Tony. It's Sunday. And first off, to answer your question of the week, I remember quite a bit from it. I, I really enjoyed the show. Um, the music I really like. The plot I enjoy, and I think what I enjoy the most about it is the fact that the characters themselves are not actually... They're not the ones who are... Like, when they're singing the songs, it's done in their minds. So you're not having the kind of distance that you have in other shows in which it's like, oh, we're talking one minute, then singing the next. And it's totally normal because this is like every single song is the internal thought of, of one of the characters, which I like. I think that's well done. And it's something that a lot of other musicals, I think, could do to kind of help limit that uh, kind of... I think I'm getting a tripod up here to try and limit that cognitive dissonance. Um, so, yeah, it's a good show. I, I recommend it. I don't know if it's already been past this point, but it, it, I enjoyed it. I would like to see it again because it's been, it's been a long time, so I don't remember. I don't remember all of it. I'd like to see it again at some point, but that's a future, way in the future Josh thing. I have a tripod at my feet who's just begging for pets. Um, so I'm not showing off the rest of the house today yet. Uh, we've spend all weekend we spent working on it um i did uh i mowed yesterday weed whacked and uh watered some of the grass um while taylor has been painting the nursery uh today i was doing laundry and just kind of doing whatever around the house as a uh, taylor finished up the nursery and uh taylor and justice ended up uh building a couple things i ended up uh, cooking dinner and uh I went to that. We did, uh, so Taylor had, uh, prepped some, uh, had prepped a, uh, some pork that I grilled and turned out really good. We made, uh, we made nachos and tacos with the pork and it was delicious. I, I can't say enough good things. It tasted so good. Like I ate a lot, but I was really full. So that was always a plus too. But otherwise, so again, I'm not in a spot to show the rest of the house yet. Um, it's still messy, but we got, we got through a lot this weekend. Which is fun, considering that Dad's going to be here. Dad's going to be here on Friday, so that's going to be fun. We're three weeks before the baby shower, which will be a lot. And we basically have three weeks to get the house totally ready for that. It's going to be part housewarming, part baby shower. And that's going to be that's going to be an event. And that, that's going to be an event. <laughs> so what I want to talk about right now is so what i've been doing when i haven't been working on the house really has been playing cyberpunk 2077 and i know like i did a little i did a little video on cyberpunk when it first came out two years ago a year and a half ago and i had some <clears throat> i had things i really enjoyed about it and some also some issues where i was like okay this this isn't complete well i've been playing a lot of it lately and i have to say i think the game is about as complete as it's going to get until those D until the dlc drops because it feels like a living, breathing world. And I mean, like, CD Projekt Red certainly got a lot of flack for um, the bugs and, like, the fact it was unplayable on last-gen systems. And that was well-deserved, but they have, they've done so much work on it, and it's, it is so good right now. So I don't want to get too much into all the changes because you, you haven't played the game one way or another, so you don't necessarily understand all the changes, but the game is the best it's been ever at this point and it's pretty stable i think i've only had like one or two bugs and they're small bugs they're not even they're, they're not ones that i'm really worried about it's just it's been excellent it, it has been truly excellent i've really been enjoying it which is why like in the past month i've yeah past month and a half i've bumped up a character to like almost max level <laughs> so i've been playing a good amount of cyberpunk when i've had the time so um but one thing that I kind of want to talk about that it got a lot of bad that people really disliked initially is the fact that your character v doesn't nothing that you do necessarily changes the whole like the ending does change the city as a whole but like most of what you do doesn't change the city it's the same th the same city for everyone else and it's kind of i think it's kind of been an interesting aspect so most games you know it's you're the chosen one, you're the one who can do this. Or like in Witcher 3, your your daughter is the chosen one. And you're kind of trying to make your way through the world, trying to trying to help your daughter and find your daughter and then help her save the world. Uh, I 
that's a slight spoiler, but if you've ever watched any Witcher or read any Witcher, you would understand how important Siri is. And so Cyberpunk was different. So again, like namely like within the city, nothing that you do has huge, huge reaching consequences because the city goes on no matter what. And that's so that's so refreshing because so few games do that. And it's like, oh, my decisions don't matter. And that's not entirely true. You're right, the world doesn't change, but like your your relationships with characters can completely change. Um, like you get an epilogue. Now I, ha I haven't beaten it yet, but I know you get an epilogue of like, here are some ways in which the city changed after you did these things. And it's really neat because you just you don't see that in games that often. You're not you're not just another grunt on the street. Whereas in Cyberpunk, that's what you are. You are not important. You only become important because you have a because you have a dead a dead terrorist in your head, and he's arguably more he's arguably more important than you are, and he's been dead for fifty years. And it, it's it's so interesting the way that works because you just don't see that very often in games, in which you're basically an NPC. And I kind of I kind of hope other games do that because I mean think of your everyday life. Like you might be your main character for yourself, but no matter what you do, the whole world general like in most situations, the whole world's not gonna change that much unless you get a lot of people to do to do that same thing. And that's kind of I like that because you it's new. It's something you don't see, like you can talk about like any of the fallout games and you are you're the most important character in the entire wasteland even in new vegas you're the most important character like you're the courier you're the one who makes things go in any in skyrim you're the dragonborn in oblivion you're the one who ends up you're the hero of the batch you're the one who ends up saving the empire and i'm sure it goes back with the other games as well and you see that again like in fallout so in fallout 3 you're the one who either genocides the entire wasteland or saves the entire wasteland in mass effect when you're in it when you're in andromeda you're you're the one who's finding all, all these new places or you're in the original trilogy you're the one who's stopping who's stopping this invasion and very rarely do you see a game where you're just another person out there making your way the way everyone else is you got bills to pay you got ammo to buy you got clothing you gotta have to get styling and I kind of, I want more games to do that because it's neat. And I think it helps art imitate life in some ways. So Tony, my question for you is, uh, what's your opinion on, on a uh, game like that where you're, when you're not the chosen one and you're just another grunt? Tony, I'll see you on Wednesday, I think. I'll see you then. Bye.